harvest time for white corn in Oneida. And Pauline is checking out the uh, annual tradition. Good morning, Pauline. Good morning, guys. It's a brisk morning out here at Junhengua, the agriculture site in Oneida. But today is the day. It's the start of what you said, a white corn harvest. And I've got the agriculture supervisor. We've got Ted Skenendor here showing me the ropes. Good morning, Ted. Good morning. So How let's are you today? talk. I'm doing well. You know, it's a little chilly out here, but we're <laughs> we're staying awake, keeping All us right. awake here. But we're talking about corn. That's right. So it's time for harvesting. How do we know what when we can harvest? Okay, typically it dries down. You can see this is a little bit browner than some of these other corns. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's 110 to 120 day corn. And what we're doing today is we're gonna be t uh, teaching the kids how, how to snap corn. Okay. So if you listen to the sound, that is called snapping the corn. But what we're doing is we're picking the corn. Mm -hmm. So this would be what we're looking for. Is This is white corn. This is different than the yellow corn that you see most of the time. So okay. this is our, our traditional heirloom corn Mm -hmm. And it was part of our, what we call Three Sisters a long time ago, which was the corn beans and squash. And what we're looking for when we're doing seed selection is on this particular type of corn, there's, there's no dent. Sometimes you'll see a dimple in the top here. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't have that. Uh, the other thing we're looking for is no discoloration. So sometimes you might see a yellow or a red or a different type of color in here. And then the other thing is eight rows. So if you count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight rows around here. Mm -hmm. And another thing we're looking for when we're talking about this uh, seed selection is we want it to be between my knee and shoulder, somewhere between there, because uh, just less last year we started machine harvesting. Mm -hmm. So now we have to keep that in mind of where the ear placement is so that these uh, machines are able to take the corn off. Okay. So this would be a, a decent one. I would yeah. not probably use this one for seed because you can see it's, it has some, uh, deformities or might be one for soup right soup. we would still use okay. this for soup so if you want to grab this i'll just show Got you it. what another one would look like so this snapping sound is what the snapping is all about uh -huh. so if you look at this one this might be a little oh. bit more seed quality yeah so see how that's all nice and straight yeah. straight rows so the other thing we would do is if you get down to these end rows mm -hmm. they're not they're a little bit more bunched up, so we would still use that for soup, mm -hmm. and we'd still use that for soup, but if you look at the middle of this, it's a little bit more uniform. We probably would use the middle section here for seed. Okay. So that's a little bit about how yeah. we're doing the seed selection. We're looking at, you know, the different traits that the plants have and okay. the different, uh, even if this uh, cob mm -hmm. is a di uh, discolored, mm -hmm. we, wouldn't, we wouldn't use that for seed. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Chad. No problem. So this... Today, uh, school kids are going to come all this week, and then on Saturday, there's going to be a harvest fest where you're invited. So just head to our website, fox11online.com, for all the information. It is very interesting. <laughs> Thanks, Pauline. Thanks, Pauline. <laughs>